debate the honorable member for chinsali thank you mr speaker sir the appointment of reverend agnes chongo to serve as a commissioner of the human rights commission is made pursuant to section 5 of the human rights commission act number 39 of 1996 of the laws of zambia mr speaker in scrutinizing the appointment, the committee notes that the Human Rights Commission is an integral part of the Zambia's democratic dispensation with a key mandate to protect and promote human rights in Zambia in line with the Constitution, the Human Rights Commission Act, and regional and international, international human rights conventions and protocols that Zambia has acceded to. In view of this, the committee resolved that only a competent person with unquestionable integrity, diligence, eminence, and sound character should be appointed as commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. The committee further resolved that the person should also have good knowledge and experience in human rights issues so as to add value to the operations of the Human Rights Commission in its promotion and protection of human rights. Sir, so, the committee carefully selected the witnesses to assist in the scrutinizing, in, uh, to assist it in scrutinizing the suitability of the nominee. The committee requested memoranda from relevant state security agencies, professional bodies, and other stakeholders, and the appointing authority. The witnesses also appeared before the committee to make their oral submissions. Further, the committee interviewed the nominee and carefully scrutinized her curriculum vitae. So, the committee notes with satisfaction that all the state security agencies indicated that there were no adverse security concerns against the nominee. Additionally, the other stakeholders generally submitted that the nominee was suitably qualified and possessed the requisite experience to be appointed Commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. In this regard, they supported her appointment. Mr. Speaker, the committee notes that the nominee is the Executive Director of Heart of Mercy Orphanage and has participated in various programs involving vulnerable women and underprivileged children. This aspect has given her exposure to the promotion of human rights. In this regard, the committee is satisfied that the nominee possesses the requisite qualifications, experience, and skills to competently discharge her duties as commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. Sir, the committee notes that there were some concerns by some stakeholders that the nominee lacked a background in human rights and that she did not possess the qualifications for the position of a commissioner. The committee notes that human rights emanate from the law of God, Lex Divina, and the fact that the nominee was a religious minister entailed that she is suitably qualified to be appointed as Commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. The committee further notes that although Section 5 of the Human Rights Commission Act sets qualifications for the chairperson and the vice chairperson, there are no qualifications stated for the commissioners. Considering the important role that commissioners of the Human Rights Commission play, there is need for the law to be amended to provide for qualifications of the position of commissioner. Mr. Speaker, the committee further notes the concern by some stakeholders that there is already a member of the clergy serving as a commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. In this regard, the committee therefore recommends that in future, nominees should be drawn from various professions and backgrounds as there is need for diversity among the commissioners. This will ensure that persons of different qualifications experience and with different skills and mindsets comprise the membership of the Human Rights Commission. 
So, the committee, after due and thorough consideration, analysis, and evaluation of the written and oral submissions presented to it by witnesses and the nominee herself, is of the considered view that the nominee is suitably qualified and possesses the requisite competences to serve as a commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. In view of this, Mr. Speaker, the committee recommends that this August House ratifies the presidential appointment of Reverend Agnes Chongo as commissioner of the Human Rights Commission. Finally, sir, the members of the committee wish to place on record their gratitude to you, Mr. Speaker, for appointing them to serve on this select committee. The committee is also thankful for the services and advice rendered to it by the office of the clerk of the National Assembly during its deliberations. The committee further wishes to thank the state security and investigative agencies and other stakeholder institutions for their valuable submissions which assisted the committee arrive at its recommendation. Mr. Speaker, it is now my pleasure to call upon the House to ratify the appointment before it. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move.